Welcome to Future of Flushing. I'm Vito Calise. With me is John Barron. And with us is Mississippi State legend, Rowdy Jordan. Now, Rowdy, I bring that up because we heard you are basically a cult hero at your school because uh -oh. you helped them bring their first national championship. Uh -huh. What is it like so early in your career to experience the high of climbing that mountain? It was amazing, really, because uh, the fan base is so big at uh, Mississippi State. Universities never won a national championship, so being able to have, to have that, you know, that first team to come out and finally do it for the university, it was amazing. Now, during your time in Mississippi State, it seemed like you performed the best when the lights were the brightest. You were the MVP of the 2019 regional. You hit 400 in the NCAA tournament. What was it about those pressurized situations that brought the best out of Rowdy Jordan? I just think, that, you know, towards the end of the year, you've seen a lot of pitches, had a lot of at-bats, um, and just being relaxed in the moment. You know, if, that's, if you can just calm your, your mind and uh, your body, you'll, you'll perform well. And I think that's kind of what I did well when I was um, in school, at school. How's your experience been at camp so far? It's been great. This is, it's awesome. Being down here, the weather's amazing. Uh, the atmosphere is great with the coaches. The players are awesome. So we, we really come out here and have a good time. Now, we've heard that you and Mike Vassil are roommates. Mm -hmm. um, we spoke with Mike a few days ago, and Mike had a funny story about you. So we kind of want you to return the favor a little bit, maybe give us some insight on what goes on in the apartment with Rowdy and Mike. Yeah, so me and Mike play Madden very often. Um, he was very confident in the beginning that he could beat me. Okay. And I pretty much just beat up on him like an older brother <laughs> every time we play. All right, now what, not, what team is we rolling with? We roll with anybody. So we'll go, typically we'll do three randoms. The, um, mm. the teams that have the closest ratings will play. Okay, okay. And yeah, I mean, I'll smack them. And we typically go to bed <laughs> about an hour later because he doesn't like going to sleep on a 21 0 skunk. He's rage quitting. Uh, no, he, he won't. Like, I'll beat him. Oh, okay. It'll be 21 skunk. Right. And he's like, I'm not going to sleep. I'm not going to bed. So ah. I'll play another one. And then Until I beat him by 10. Uh. And then we get to go to sleep. <laughs> but if I beat him by more than 21, he, he doesn't like going to sleep on that. So yeah, All I right. just scrub him up. Now, uh, a few minutes ago before this, we were talking to Wyatt. And uh, he said to us right before he left, you're going to love this guy. Oh. It seems like you're an amazing clubhouse guy from everybody we speak to. Yeah, you just got to, you know, run around, mess around with people. Let them, you know, just, everybody needs to be comfortable, have fun out here. And, I, and that's what I try to bring because um, that's just, it's, it's, it's a kid's game at the end of the day. You know, so if you, if you think of it as a job or something, you, you know, build pressure on yourself, it's going to be a lot more difficult to come here every day. But if you, if you run around like a kid, have fun, and, you know, it makes the days a lot shorter, unfortunately, but they're a lot more fun. Some would say that energy is Rowdy, if you would. Yeah. Now, Rowdy's not your birth name. Uh -uh. Your birth name is William. William. So. Okay, so the story about that, uh, William Kevin Jordan Jr. is my name. I go by Rowdy. The deal with my parents was my mom would name all the girls and my dad would name all the boys. Love that. It's a good um, system. Love that. So I was the first child, so my dad was supposed to be the one to name me. Days of Thunder, NASCAR movie. His favorite <laughs> character is Rowdy Burns. So he was gonna name me Rowdy, but my mom was a school teacher, a little weird about having it on my birth certificate and seeing all that good stuff. So I went, I'm named after my dad and I go by Rowdy. So nobody knows me as William, um, it's just Rowdy. So since you were born, oh, yeah. you've been Rowdy. Mm -hmm. It's just a formality that it's not Rowdy on your license right, or birth certificate. Right, yeah. The government doesn't know you as Rowdy. They don't know me as do. Rowdy, but everybody else knows me But as Rowdy. by all intents and purposes, you are Rowdy. I mean, that was the plan from day one. I suppose. And you could have been Maverick. So I mean, yeah, you yeah. which one would you have preferred? I like Rowdy a little bit I like more. Rowdy yeah, too. Yeah. Rowdy's got a ring to it. Yeah. Are there any players that you would say you model your game after? I like uh, Michael Brantley with the Astros. You know, outfielder. That's why I came up, you know, the outfielder in, um, in college. Just a short, sweet stroke from the left side. Yeah. You know, um, gets in, hits for average, some doubles, not a bunch of homers, but enough to have that thread in there. And that's how I feel like I could be like. So I, I, like, I like Michael Brantley. Another guy that also covers all three pitch types, he has success against fastballs, curveballs, off-speed pitches. Would you say that you're kind of the same way in your game? Yeah, I try to be at least. I tend to, you know, have a little more success on the fastball. Mm -hmm. But because um, the SEC was a power arms league, so you saw a lot of fastballs. I think as I come through the system, my off speed, being able to hit the off speed has gotten better. I, I, I noticed that last year. I, get, I gave up on a lot of curveballs um, last year, but as the season went on, it got better. So hopefully that comes around a little more this year. What are some of your goals for this season? Just go up there and have competitive at-bats. You know, I think um, if, if I go up there, have good at-bats, hit the ball hard, you know, the doubles, homers, walks, you know, batting average will all take care of itself. So being able to get in there, get a good pitch to hit, put a good swing on it. Absolutely. Now your debut at City Field, when that day comes, 
What are you coming out to for a walk-up song? Oh, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler, <laughs> Travis Scott. Didn't even have to think about like that, it. That was, that was it, the quickest it was one we got, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was in, that's, that was my um, walk-out in college, and I just kept it. So that's, that's what gets me going. You know, I actually do have a question based on something Mike Vassell told us the other day. What's Mike Vassell said he loves to play disco music in the locker room. That's a good one. He does? He told yeah. us he loves to play disco. He said all the guys like it. Do all the guys like it? They, yeah, we have, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get, it's more like dance music, like, like it'd be like a club and you know. Oh, so we're not so, talking like Donna Summer. No, that's no, what we thought, no, that's what he made it seem like. No, we're, we're talking about club and we, music. John, we gotta remember, they're a lot younger than us. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, know, I don't use like that stuff. My yeah. mother-in-law plays well. Swedish House around. Mafia might as well be <laughs> disco to them. No, it's more a club and music, so. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Well, Rowdy, thanks so much for doing this. Best Thank of luck this season, and we'll talk to you down the road. All right, sounds good. Thank y'all. Thanks a lot, man.